Good evening. Welcome to the GCSE Design and Technology presentation for commencement September 2021. So why should you choose Design and Technology? Well it's a really exciting subject where you can work creatively in a wide range of materials developing great life skills for the future. So how is the course laid out? Well the aim of the course is to build on student skills from Key Stage 3 and a variety of projects in Year 10 prepare students for their coursework in Year 11. Essentially the course breaks down into two units an end of year examination and a major design and make project each worth 50% of the overall mark. To be successful in design and technology students need to enjoy the subject be prepared to learn new skills and techniques, have good drawing ability or the willingness to, to develop their skills and must be prepared to work to deadlines and manage their time wisely. To support the course, there are dedicated textbooks and revision guides. These are available as physical books or e-books for use with student iPads. CAD is an essential part of the course for Year 11. Initial projects introduce the basics and students experience the wide variety of CNC machines the school has to offer, including a suite of 3D printers. Students are encouraged to get involved in extracurricular activities, which help to develop their skill base. Projects have included green power, Land Rover clubs, jewellery and even remote controlled boats. The photographs here really show the wide range of processes available to students. The CFA staff help guide students to achieve their goals and work with them to help guide them through their final projects. The controlled assessment or coursework is introduced by AQA in the summer term. Students choose from a range of contacts. As a guide, 30 to 35 hours is recommended and is worth 50% of the overall grade. The portfolio needs to be of a high quality. These highly detailed designing examples give an idea of what is required to achieve the higher grades. As students start manufacturing their projects, they must record each stage photographically. Enjoy the stages of this skateboard rack being made. Once the project is made, these examples show how the photographs are annotated and presented in the portfolio to show each stage of manufacture. The examination is worth 50% of the overall grade. Theory is taught throughout the course and backed up with practical experiences. Questions come in a wide variety of formats and include multiple choice, designing questions and discussion type questions. Our Firefly pages are the first port of call for students. They include revision notes and sheets, video examples, CAD tutorials and practice examination questions. They also include preps and coursework examples and deadlines. It's nice to finish with some coursework examples and to show you some of the fantastic work that students have completed over the past few years. So where can you go with a GCSE in design and technology? Well the next natural progression is to undertake the A-level and from there, d and opens up a variety of careers in areas such as engineering, product design, building and architecture and interior design. So that brings us to the end of the d and presentation. I hope the course is of interest to you. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me using my email address dshaw at